A make or break game is upon us here tonight for the RFL. I am your host, Dixon Cider. As ladies and gentlemen, we have a team that unfortunately, if they suffer one more loss, they will be completely out of contention for the playoffs. It's the Knoxville Donkeys taking on the San Jose Sun Devils. And ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna take you live to San Jose, California for the start of this game. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to begin this game. Toby Terry is going to kick the ball down the field here. And Knoxville is going to start off the ball here. Here's Corey Cole looking to make the big return. Sheds a tackler. And it's going to get stuffed around the 28-yard line. The Knoxville Donkeys have regressed from their early season part of the standing. But now they're back on the field. On offense here, here's the quarterback, Max Ibbitt. Hands off the ball to Gail Savage. It's second down. And here's the big thing that we need to consider, and it's been a little bit sad to witness firsthand. It's the simple fact that the Knoxville Donkeys have just been on the absolutely unlucky when it comes to playing other teams as of late as Corey Cole's going to be t evaluated here on the sideline he looks to be hurt it's going to be first and 10 on the 40 here Ibbitt looking to get his receivers in motion here <laughs> look at the throw is Ibbitt gets it off to Savage nice pass there taking it to the 47 yard line it's gonna be second down and they're already looking to try and be able to score however which way they can here the Knoxville Donkeys is one of the more underrated teams here just been very unlucky Burkett getting the first down there and we took it and we take a look at the San Jose Sun Devils they had a really rough start in the very beginning of the season but as we we have seen in the last couple of weeks, they're looking to try to get some momentum together. As Savage looks to carry, there's a flag on the play. Let's see where this is coming. Dorian Richter getting the offside call here. It's gonna be first and five. Ball's gonna be placed on the 43. Looking to make a big play here. Hands it off to Savage. And Savage is going to get stopped here. And now it's second down. This has been a very methodical drive here. This is the seventh play. Able to take it to Hunter Baker. And able to take it all the way to the 35. It's going to be first and 10. Nothing flashy about this offense per se, but it's quite it's effective. Right. Here we go. Ibbitt looking to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Donovan's switchblade is going to be kicking himself lately, knowing that this offense hasn't been connecting these last few games, as now it's going to be second and ten. Gail Savage looking to run it. And able to get about a yard on the carry. Cletus Dobbs. Getting the tackle here. It's going to be third down. Ibbitt brings his receiver to his left. Hands it off to Hunter Baker. And getting about three more yards on the carry. It's going to be fourth down. Field goal opportunity here. And the 48 yarder is going to be no good. Jerry Rice misses the field goal. And now the San Jose Sun Devils are back on the field, led by their man, Lane Waterman. Lane Waterman has been, is probably one of the most inconsistent, regressing quarterbacks in the league. I mean, he is getting up there in age. He's about 30 years old. 
so it's hard. I mean, it's hard to tell what San Jose's future is going to be, especially with the new head coach taking over recently, Mike Mayock. As Demarcus Stacy able to run it in for a few yards on the carry, he's been one of the one of the highlights of this offense. It's second and five coming up here. Waterman looking to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. It's going to be third and five coming up as Sylvester Walton is going to be looked at here. He looks like he's hurt himself on the sideline here. Both teams have lost their top receiver. Let's see what play they're going to come up with here on third down. Waterman looking to throw. Gets it off to Walton. As we thought he was going to be evaluated on the sideline for an injury, but they just put it back on the field for some reason. Whatever it might be, first and ten coming up. Stacy able to take it to the line of scrimmage there. Tackle was made by Michael Kelly. No gain on the play. It's going to be second and ten. As we take a look at this Knoxville Donkeys defense, they're one of the best defenses in the league. They're very, they have not very allowed a lot of points to be scored against them up to this point. Only 108 total points scored against them here. And now it's going to be third and eight. Which, by the way, that stat, that is the second lowest in the lead behind the Orlando Illusion, believe it or not. Here we go. Waterman looking to throw. And that's going to be incomplete here. Fourth down coming up. And lining up to the, for the field goal here. Toby Terry able to get it through. The 54-yard 50 50 field goal is good. San Jose Sun Devils are up by three. Looking to put a good together drive together here for this one. Glenn McLaughlin's going to make the return. And he's only able to take it to the 12-yard line as this Knoxville offense is looking to come back onto the field here. First and 10 coming up. Ball on the 12. <laughs> And looking to throw here. Gets it off to Corey Cole. Cole is going to break for it. 20, 10. Touchdown. But we got a flag on the play. As that's going to come back to bite them. That touchdown is negated. And now they got to start there on their own two yard line now. First and 20. Nice. Hands it off to Savage. And able to take it to the 10-yard line here. It's second down. Man, that must have been such a heartbreaking situation for them. As we've reached the end of the first quarter, Knoxville is down by three. But the Knoxville Donkeys really thought they had it. They had that breakthrough play there. But not meant to be... Unfortunately, so here comes Ibbitt looking to throw. Gives it off to Corey Cole, but not able to break for it all the way down the field this time. It's just going to be a short get on the play. It's going to be third down. <laughs> Donovan Burkett inches away. From the first down marker, and now they're going to have to punt it here. Fourth down coming up. <laughs> Brubacher looking to punt it. And he gets it off to Armando Power. Power is able to break through and able to take it to the opponent's 40-yard line. Great punt return there. It's going to be first down. And they're going to be in enemy territory. 
The San Jose Sun Devils have been looking to get a little bit better ever since the coaching change here. They're a little bit banded together here. It's not very often that things start to work out a little better for you mid coaching season, mid coaching change, and working with this interim coach here in Mike Mayock. But we'll see where it goes from here. Second down coming up. Stacy gets tackled behind the line of scrimmage there. Broderick Blanchard. On the tackle, it's going to be third down. Ball's going to be placed on the 35. Throw, look at the throw. Incomplete. Almost picked off there. And now it's going to be a fourth and six. They might bring on the, the field goal unit here. And able to kick it through the 52 yarder is good. The San Jose Sun Devils are now up by six. That was a really good drive put together there. And now they're able to be up by a possession here. Here comes McLaughlin. And McLaughlin takes it to about the 19-yard line on the return. It's going to be first down once again. Here we go. First and 10. Hands it off to Savage. Savage is looking to break for it here. Crosses the 30 and gets the first down on that run. What a beautiful play put together right there. Here we go. Ball on the 32. And now Emmett looking to make a big play here. Taking it to Savage on that pass. Getting across the 40. It's going to be second down. Really good. Really good combination of plays on those last two plays. Second and one coming up. Go! As Hunter Baker able to get the first down on that run. And now it's going to be first and ten. Once again. Giving it to Savage. And now that tackle made by Nathaniel Kitania was able to stop him there. It's going to be second and nine. And there we go. Baker going to get stopped there by Vaughn. Vaughn was making the big play there. Stopped him right at dead of his tracks. That's going to be third down. <laughs> and, it, and only getting a short game there. I think the punting unit is going to have to come onto the field there. That just wasn't. That play just wasn't it. And here we go. Able to kick it down the field as it's going to be inside the 20 all the way to the 6. It's going to be it's going to be a first and 10 play. Here we go. DeMarcus Stacy able to carry And that's going to be a first down on that play. Here we go. First and 10 coming up. Ball to 17. Waterman looking to throw. As Wade with a nice catch there. And now it's going to be second and four. A nice play there. It's going to be first down once again. He's been making... He, his plays have been very consistent all game long. This offense is clicking as now they've reached a two-minute warning. 
tonight. First and ten. Throws it. Gets it off to Sylvester Walton. And now it's going to be second and four on the play. Ball's going to be placed on the 36. Let's see what they can do here. Waterman looking to throw. Gets it off to Israel Harvey with a beautiful catch there. It's going to be third and four. Hands it off to Stacy. As he's able to cross the 40, that's a really good run play. That's going to be first and 10. Something that needs to be said about this team now that their offense is clicking a little bit more here. Waterman looking to throw. Gets it off to Harvey. And they're going to take it to the 43. It's going to be second and eight. As a flag has been thrown here, if it's going to be a false start on Jimmy Tucker. With a minute seven left. Let's see if they can maybe put some points on the board here. I believe they will get the ball back at the second half. But let's see what Waterman can do on this play. Gets it off to Stacy. As we got a flag on the play here. As we got a holding call on, on the offense once again. And now it's going to be second down. And even further back. Go! Waterman looking to throw. Gets it to Sylvester Walton. As he's able to take it to the 38. Knoxville takes their second timeout. Third and 13. Hands it off to Stacy. Stacy is able to cross the 40 yard line. As now we've reached fourth and nine. And now lighting at the putt. Walter Boss. Gets the putt off. It's going to be first and ten. Tonight. Ibbett looking to throw. Gets it off to Harrison. Nice pass there. It's going to be second and four. Ball's going to be placed on the 26. Let's see if we can get a little bit more off. As that's going to be incomplete there. Third down coming up. Go. And hands it off to Savage. Cletus Dobbs is going to get charged for offsides here. It looks like it's going to be first down once again. Knoxville is trying to score before the end of the half. Otherwise, they're going to give the ball back to the Sun Devils with, without a score on the board here. Emmett looks to throw. Incomplete on the pass. And now it's second and ten. As they're looking to put a play together here. As Savage able to get the catch. And now it's third and two. Ball will be placed on the third 38 yard line. Let's see what they can do. Ebbett looks to throw. Gets it off to Savage. As he's able to take it to the 45. It's going to be first and ten. Hey. 
Ibbitt, look at the throw. Gets it off to Saul Harrison as he's able to cross the 50 on that play. Second and four coming up as that's going to be the end of the first half. The score right now, the Sun Devils, six, Knoxville, nothing. A low scoring game to start the first half. Let's take a look at the stats of that. As ladies and gentlemen, we are going to take a look at the first half stats here. Both teams are pretty even on the offensive side of the ball. The only difference is Knoxville has a little bit more possession time. However, but the big issue is they've both been stopping each other in any which way to make sure they can't score down the field. Unfortunately though, Knoxville has been caught up with penalties and that is the reason why the San Jose Sun Devils are up 6 to nothing. And that'll do it for us here in the booth. We'll take you back to San Jose for the finish this game. It is time to start the third quarter. The San Jose Sun Devils are going to get their ball back here. Jerry Rice with the kick. And it gets it to Augustus Mayo. Mayo looks to make the big return, taking it all the way to the 27 on that return. And here comes the San Jose Sun Devils. Currently has the lead. Only just two field goals, though. Let's see if they can build onto this lead and put together a really good looking Go! quarter here. Waterman looking to throw. Gets it off before getting sacked and that's gonna be Sylvester Walton on the tackle. However, that's gonna come back to bite them. Gordon Swallows is unfortunately gonna get caught with a penalty here for holding. That would have been a really good play but the problem is that's gonna set them back now. First and 20. Break. Hands it off to Demarcus Stacy. Sheds a tackler, but not able to stop the second one as it's going to be second down here. You but if you're Gordon Swallows right now, you might be biting yourself because, well, you just cost your team a potential touchdown there as Keaton McGuire gets a nice catch there and now it's third and 13. Waterman only has 47 yards passing on the game. Look at the throw here as he gets it to Andre Todd. Nice catch there and it's going to be first down. Setting him up in pretty good in far better position where they were before. And now it's first and ten. Hike. And now it's a Marcus Stacy able to run it there, and now it's gonna be second five. I feel like Stacy is a running back of the future. You just gotta keep your eye on him and see what he's gonna be able to do later on is Israel Harvey with a nice catch. And able to cross the first down marker here. First and ten coming up on the 43. Let's see what he can muster up here. Moves his receiver to the left. Go! And lucky the throw. Gets it off to Stacy. And Stacy's able to take it to the 35 yard line. And now it's going to be second down, looking to try to make a big play here. And here we go, second and one coming up. Waterman looking to throw. That's going to be incomplete. Third down coming up, ball's going to be placed on the 34-yard line. And this is the ninth play of the drive. Gives it to Stacy. Stacy's looking to run it. Able to cross the 30. That's going to be first down. Demarcus Stacy has been playing some really solid running, uh, uh, running plays all game long. Setting him up in good, better position on each play that he can. As that's going to be incomplete on the throw. Second and 10 coming up. 
The ball is going to be placed on the 26. And Lade Waterman getting ready for the 11th play of this drive as he hands it off to Stacy once again. Really nice run there. And now it's going to be first and 10 on the 16. Go! Waterman looking to throw. Gets it to Todd only for about a yard there. Second down coming up. Second and ten, and Waterman's looking to throw. Gets it off to Armando Power. As he's able to cross the first down marker there, it's going to be first and goal. Here we go. Let's see what Waterman will do on this play. Gets it off to Stacy, and Stacy is going to cross the plate here. Touchdown, San Jose. DeMarcus Stacy getting a rushing touchdown on the game. And now San Jose is about to take a two-possession lead here. Point after is good. That was a really well-put-together drive there for almost seven, for over seven minutes. And able to put up seven points there. And Glenn McLaughlin is looking to make the return. Stuffs him at the 25-yard line. As Quint, we had a look at Quentin Bell. He's going to come back onto the field a little bit later. It's going to be first and ten here. Ibbitt looking to Tonight. make a big play here. As he's going to be picked off here. That's Roger Vaughn. Vaughn gets the interception. Ball turns over. The San Jose Sun Devils are going to take the ball back here. On the 28. First and 10 once again. And Stacy Might be a little bit tired here. But it. It, nonetheless, they're going to get the ball back. Second and four coming up. 15 rush yards. Say 15 rushes for 83 yards. He's having a heck of a game thus far. As he's able to take the ball to the 20, it's going to be third down. Looking to run it, and Stacy is stopped at the 25. Carmine Deaton making the tackle there, able to stop them from getting the first down. They're going to get the kicking team on, and now they're going to take a three possession, a two possession. They're going to maintain the two possession lead here, as that's going to be good. The Sun Devils are up by 16. Toby Terry kicking the ball down the field. And now McLaughlin looking to make a big return here, but he's going to get stuffed there around the 15. First and 10 coming up. This Knoxville Do Donkeys offense has really not been able to get anywhere off the ground here as it's just a, been a very tough game for them to play through here as Gail Savage gets the tackle there. It's going to be second and four coming up. Ball will be placed. On the 20, but able to get it to the 26 as it's going to be first down. And now this is a little more of a better drive that they've put together all game long. As we've reached the end of the third quarter, San Jose is taking the lead 16 0.
And look at the throw. Gets it off. But that's going to be incomplete. Second down coming up. And now Glenn McLaughlin is going to be looked at and evaluated. As now he is down on the field. He looks a bit shaken up. <laughs> Emmett looking at the throw. But he's going to be sacked on the play. Cletus Dobbs that makes the big sack there. Third and 18 coming up. Tonight. Look at the throw here. Gets it off to Terrell Mack. Mack making the big play. That's how it's going to be. Ball's going to be placed on the 47. First and 10 coming up. Tonight. Ibbitt looking at the throw. As Mack is going to get tackled there. And now it's second and three. Brings the bed. And Emmett looks to throw. Terrell back. Getting the flag on the play here. As it's going to be holding on Byron Bell. Second and 13 coming up. Evan, looking to run. Gets stopped at the line of scrimmage there. Tackle was made by Errol Ruff. Third and 13 coming up. This Knoxville Donkeys offense has just been stuck in nowhere land with some of these plays. As Roger Beckham able to catch the ball, taking it to the 27. First and 10 coming up. Savage is going to get stuffed right at the line of scrimmage there. Second and 10 coming up here. Ball will be placed on the 27. Hike. Tosses it to Savage. And Savage is able to take it to the 20. Third and two coming up. Here we go, Max Ibbitt. Looks to throw. Sheds a tackler, but not able to escape the next one. Roger Vaughn gets the sack. Ball's gonna be placed on the 26, and now they're gonna bring the kicking team on. Jerry Rice missed his first field goal, and he missed his second. The 43-yarder is no good. Knoxville is still scoreless here. Waterman behind center. First and 10 coming up on a five wide set. Look at the throw. As Virgilio Brennan is going to get the interception. And now the Knoxville Donkeys are going to try to fix their mistakes. Try to get the ball in the end zone as first and 10 coming up balls to be placed on the 34 Go. oh and whoa phasing right through the line Augustus Mayo just pummels in there and now it's second and 17 balls gonna be placed on the 41 yard line here we go Second and 17. Emmett looking to throw. And that is going to be a drop pass there. Third and 17 coming up. Hike. And looking to throw. Gets it off to Terrell Mack. Mack makes the catch there. First and 10 coming up. Ball's going to be on the 23. 
Let's see what they can do here. Tonight. As Ibbett looks to throw. Gets it off to Saul Harrison. As Harrison takes it inside the 19, it's second down. <coughs> Look at the throw here. Ibbett. Able to get it off to Corey Cole. And now it's third and inches. Ball's going to be placed on the 13. Emmett looking to throw. Gets it off to Saul Harrison. And able to cross it four yards away from the end zone. It's going to be first and goal. Looking to throw here. There's a flag on the play. As he's going to get sacked on the play. But Kalidas Dobbs is going to get caught offside as they're going to be half a distance from the goal now. Taking that sack away from Augustus Mayo there. It's going to be first and goal once again on the two. <laughs> Looks to throw. Gets it to Gail Savage. Touchdown, Knoxville. As the Knoxville Dockies have now... Stop this game from being a complete shutout. <laughs> Gotta take the score here. And the point after is good. The score sits is sitting right now is 16 to 7. And looking to kick it down the field once again. The Knottsville Donkeys gets it off here. Let's see what they can do. Obeo is going to make the return. Taking it to the 22. It's first and 10. And how about the San Jose Sun Devils in the last few weeks? Able to beat the Seattle Corsairs one week. And now this week they might walk away against the Knoxville Donkeys. Making them in the middle. They might be a middle of the... The middle of the pack team by the end of the season here. Second and ten. Ball will be placed. <coughs> here on the 22 yard line as DeMarcus Stacy gets the catch there. It's third down. Look at this game that DeMarcus Stacy has had. He has been playing very excellent football all season long. Third down coming up. Waterman looking to throw. Gets it off to Keaton McGuire. As now it's going to be fourth down at the two-minute warning. Tonight. And kicks it off to... Gail Savage there, that was Boss on the return. As he's able to shed two tacklers, Savage is trying to break for it. And it's gonna get stopped here at the 44 yard line. Now it's first and 10. They have a chance to try to narrow the deficit on this play here. First and 10 coming up. Gets it to Roger Beckham. Back up with a nice catch, and Knoxville's going to take their first time out. Emmett drops back. Trying to score on this drive. Glenn McLaughlin with a nice catch there. And with a minute 28 left, Knoxville's going to take their second time out. With 10... Uh, on the 10-yard line. <laughs> Ibbett looks to throw again. As he's going to be sacked on the play. Augustus Mayo getting to the back of the field. And now the Knoxville Donkeys are going to start on the 19. 
with no timeouts remaining. Go! Look at the throw. Gets it off to Savage. Savage has taken it to the 10 yard line and now it's third and goal. About a minute left in the game. Emmett looks to throw. And picked off in the end zone. Augustus Mayo picks him off to his man. The ball has been turned over. And the San Jose Sun Devils have secured the victory. Officially meeting the Boston Bowlers will be the last place team in the RFL. Second and 12. And taking another knee here. Ladies and gentlemen, this was an exciting game to say the least. But it's all over. And ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't get better than this. The final score. The San Jose Sun Devils, 16. The Knoxville Donkeys, 7. As we take a look at the game's MVPs, DeMarcus Stacy getting 80 yards and one touchdown. The only touchdown scored on in this game by the Sun Devils. And of course, our game's defensive MVP is Augustus Mayo. Nine tackles, three sacks, and the interception that secured them the victory in this game. Ladies and gentlemen, this was a tremendous game to watch. I have been your host, Dixon Sider. We will see you next time.